Welcome! In front of me is an SDK Lite 9 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now obviously you can see that the phone I have right here is locked and I would need to provide either a pattern or Google account to unlock it throughout the setup process. And assuming we don't know either of those, we can simply bypass this. Now for the bypass we will need a SIM card. Now on that SIM card you just need to have some kind of contact. Uh, it can be any kind of contact, doesn't really matter. So, unfortunately, uh, by putting in the SIM card, I need to turn off the device, so I'm just going to kind of yank out the battery. There we go. Okay, so let's wait for the phone to boot back up. Now I do have a pin on my SIM card, so I'm going to quickly confirm that. Now the pin is not relevant in any kind of way for the process, it's just what my SIM card has. So let's give it a second. Now before you actually get started with uh, the process itself, uh, you want to progress a little bit to the setup process and make sure that you're connected to some kind of network because we're going to need it throughout. So. See right here, I am connected to Wi-Fi at the moment. Now, at this moment, I'm not sure what it's looking for, so I'm just gonna back out. Yep, there we go. So you wanna back out to the first page if you're a little bit further in. And in here, you wanna select emergency call then select emergency information, tap on it again, then tap on a pencil, select add contact, and this will load the contacts from your SIM card. Now as you can see for me it's empty, I'm just going to give it a moment, uh, sometimes it takes a while to load those contacts in, so let's see if it's going to, oh there we go, I just load them in. So once they appear on here you just want to select any kind of contact then click on the contact itself I'm going to tap on three dots and select share this will bring up a couple of share options and in here you will find gmail now you don't actually want to click on it you want to hold this uh, icon and this will give you the option for app info which you want to select and in here we're going to select advanced and we're going to select quickly find it oh, I'm first going to actually select notifications, so my bad there we go, notifications then advanced and, and here we have additional settings in the app and in here, you want to tap on the three dots and then select help and feedback. And once it brings up the window, type in use Morse code. Or you can, I think, type in just two letters, MO, and it brings it up as a suggested option, use Morse code. So you want to click on it. Give it a second and you can see that there's a video. Click on it once. And this will bring those three dot option right here. So you want to click on it and then select watch later. Okay. 
And as you can see, it tries to open up YouTube and then switches to Chrome. So in here, we're gonna select accept and continue. No thanks. And right at the top, I'm gonna tap on the field and then navigate to hard reset.info slash, actually no slash, just hard reset.info. Once it loads the site, tap on the three bars right here, navigate to download, and in the download search bar, you want to type in settings. So once it shows you settings uh, right here in the search, you wanna select download and scroll down again. Click on download once again, select continue, allow, okay. And this will begin the download. we well, actually already finished it. So select open. And before we can actually install it, we will need to tap on the settings. This will open up uh, this option right here. So we have to select allow uh, from this source so we can allow this application that is, has been downloaded through Chrome. Once you have to check that on, go back and then we'll have the option to install it. Once it's installed, you can select open. This will open up the settings application that we have installed. And in here, you're gonna scroll down to, let's see. I believe it will, oh, there we go. Security and location, that's what we're looking for. And then you wanna scroll down again, select advanced. And tap on the screen pinning, enable it. And then also enable the uh, lock device when unpinning. So this will give you the option to set up a screen lock on this device. And uh, now, as you've seen throughout the verification process, uh, throughout the setup, uh, the method to verify the device was by using pattern. So right here, I'm gonna select something completely different just so you don't get it mixed up. Just so there is no like a illusion that I might be just putting up the correct pattern to simply verify the account. So instead of a pattern, I'll be using a pin in here. I'm gonna select no for a secure startup and now I'm gonna set up my pin. So what I recommend you to do is set up the same pin as I do. Uh, I'm just gonna make it a little bit easier and I'm setting up one, two, three, four. Select next, confirm it once again. And there we go. And it's now set. So once you have set up your uh, pin, what you want to do is I believe we can either reset or reboot the device or go back. Let me quickly check. Yep, so we're gonna reboot the device. So let's hold the power key and select restart. Okay, so now the device is back on. Uh, it tells me to put in the pin for the SIM card. So that's what I'm gonna verify right here. So again, this is just a SIM card. Now 
Now the second one, I don't think it was a SIM card. The second one I think was the unlocking of the device because we already set up a pin right now and the device technically was off so it required a pin. And now it was the same thing as for my SIM card so I just needed to put it in twice. So anyway, from here we can proceed through the setup right now. And as you can see, now that we can actually uh, unlock the device, it tells us to verify. But instead of verify a pattern, now it's telling us to verify pin instead. So one, two, three, four. That's also the reason why I told you to set up the same thing, because it's just going to be easier uh, for you to put in the same thing as I am right now uh, and see it when I'm putting it in. So right here, verifying it. And this will basically unlock the device. So right here I'm going to select skip and finish up the setup. Now once you finish up your setup it is still recommended to perform a factory reset of your device and you simply do that by going into the settings uh, then scrolling all the way down to system and choosing reset options and then in there you will find uh, factory reset of the device. So I'm going to quickly show you where you can find this. So settings, scroll all the way down to system, advanced reset options, erase all data factory reset, reset phone and then erase everything up uh, on the next page. Now it tells us to put in the pin that we have set so again I'm just gonna confirm one two three four and choose erase everything. Now I'm not gonna go through this on the video just because this is a, a addition to the process uh, just to make sure that everything from the old account is gone and also because once you press that button it will just go through a factory reset and give you no additional content that or any informative content it's just a reset at which point once it's finished you just go through a setup of this phone and you're done uh, throughout the setup of it there is no additional like gimmick needed it just goes smoothly as you would expect so that being said this is how you would bypass the google verification on this phone and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching Thank you.